Okay, so I just got done cleaning my fretboard down with um, some 4-0 quadra uh steel wool. And uh, we vacuum it off and then brush it off with like a one or two inch paintbrush um, that's really, really soft. And uh, so I vacuumed out inside and everything because we don't want to leave any of that steel wool behind. So that it uh, scratches the guitar up. Then um, I want to talk to you about oiling the fretboard. This is super important. And you don't use baby oil. And you don't use avocado oil. Um, baby oil has chemicals in it that it will dry out the fretboard. And it's just not made for it. One of the better things to use is linseed oil. You don't use WD-40 or anything else weird. Or three in one oil um, they have chemicals in them and and a lot of the older guitars have rosewood boards and um, they're really delicate so you want to like if you have a guitar that's from the 70s or earlier um, uh, those those are very delicate boards and you've got to keep them wet because they crack and get ruined and it's really expensive to have a guitar serviced so you want to use the right stuff um you can use mineral oil linseed oil linseed oils tops there are some makers that sell like a 20 dollar bottle of fretboard oil but you don't have to have that and you don't need a big giant one of it because it'll last 22 lifetimes on guitars unless you're servicing them or something because you only need about two tablespoons of it um i like to use walnut oil and I actually bought that at a grocery store about five years ago. And uh, I'll put some in here. Um, it's better if you take all the strings off. But it's actually too much. That's probably good enough right there. All right. Um... I'm not going to leave this one string on because I don't have my tuning fork. I've got one coming. But that's my homemade toilet paper. My paper towel roll. And what you don't use, you can use it for little things. So uh, I'm going to take and put this on this fretboard. So I'll get right in there for you. Okay, now I'm going to use my fingers. It grosses you out, use a real soft cloth, but my fingers are good because I know where it's going to go. Now, this board's been oiled before. And I just got done cleaning it. And you just put it on there real gently. Helps the sound. The cleaner your guitar is, the better it's going to play. But this is all raw wood up here, so you want to get it on there. And what you'll do is you'll leave it on for a couple hours, go back and put another coat on. You see, I only put a little bit in the glass. That's about, about a tablespoon. And I probably won't even use all that. Um, but I don't want to pour it back in the container because you use that for other things. So once I've touched it, I don't want to put it back in. But you leave it on there and um, you say it's already soaking it up. And I just did this board a couple weeks ago. So um, you want to do it um, every time you change your strings would be the best time. Um, uh, if you don't change strings often... You need to take them off and do it. Every three months is real good. Once every six months is real good. Um, once a year at the least. Really. It's really important because these guitars, they get ruined. They're wood and they get ruined. And then I'll speak to you about humidifiers in just a moment. All right. And I'll talk to you later. Have a great one. So you want to do it twice. You let it sit for a couple hours. Come back and put some more oil on it.
let it sit for a couple more hours and then wipe it off with a very soft soft cloth um uh if you don't want to scrub it off just wipe it gently so you don't have a lot of grease residue that'll be on your strings all right so i'll talk to you later hope you have a great one i hope that helped you